Yeah. So I think that we have a huge country full of a lot of people, a lot of individual talents, capabilities. Um, and I think that the goal of government, broadly speaking, should be to try to ensure that everybody's able to achieve as much as possible. So on a liberal level, that usually means some people might need a little bit of a boost when it comes to things like education. Um, they might need a little bit of a boost when it comes to providing certain necessities like housing or food or clothing. But broadly speaking, I mean, I'm still a liberal, not a communist or a socialist. I don't believe in the, you know, total command economy, total communist takeover of all of the, uh, you know, economy. But I think that broadly speaking, the government should kind of like kick in and help people when they need it. And that government can and should be big. Not necessarily. Uh, I notice that when liberals talk about government, or especially taxes, it seems like they talk about it for taxes sake or big, bigness sake. So people talk about taxes sometimes as like a, like a punishment, like tax the rich. Uh, I think taxing the rich is fine insofar as it funds the programs that we want to fund. But Democrats have a really big problem demonizing success or wealth. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's a bad thing to be wealthy, to, to be a billionaire or whatever, as long as we're funding what we need to fund. Ben, what do you think it means to be a conservative? What's, what's the philosophy that underlies your political view? So first of all, I'm glad that Destiny, you're already coming out as a Republican. 